Uh, caller, you are live on the air. What's your name, comment, and or question? Hello. Yep, this is you. You're Hello. live. Yep, what's on your mind, man? Uh, Scotty from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, well, the, uh, this whole email scandal proves one thing is uh, the uh, Bernie Sanders supporters uh, of 2016 are not the same with uh, Hillary Clinton supporters of either 2016 or 08. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the reason why I say that is because the Hillary Clinton supporters will say, well, if uh, Bernie Sanders will win the election, we'll vote for him. But that's because they're little Democrats. Mm -hmm. And they don't, uh, and, but Bernie Sanders supporters don't have a lot of loyalty to the party because why would they have loyalty to a party that's not even loyal to them? Like, you can basically act as if you're above the law. Mm -hmm. And in situations like this, but, you know, <laughs> and that's why I, I say that they're not the same. And it's more so ideologi ide ideological, ideological reasons. Yep. Yes. Ideological reasons. Like, uh, you know, a lot of Hillary Clinton supporters are fine with the status quo. A lot of them, you know, want to continue Barack Obama's policies. Mm -hmm. A lot of Bernie supporters, even though some of them support Obama, are critical of Obama and want more liberal policies. Like, I remember when, I think it was Wisconsin, the Wisconsin primary, and they said that uh, they actually had, uh, so the poll is, what are you, liberal, conservative, or moderate? And a liberal actually uh, won that poll. Mm. And so, like, that's, you know, you could say we're uh, for ideological realignment, I think this is more so the fact that people are just as tired of the establishment. Yeah. And the reason why that the Democrats have been able to get, uh, get away so long with this whole lesser of the two evils argument is because of, I think, a few things. One, because of George W. Bush and the scapegoating of Ralph Nader. Mm -hmm. I, I really still do think, and I don't know how you feel about that situation, but anybody, to anybody out there, we got to stop uh, blaming Ralph Nader for mm -hmm. 2000 elections. we we got to stop doing that. Yeah. Like, so this is why the, they'll never... It's gotten to a point where once Bernie Sanders uh, tries to get people to support Hillary Clinton, yep. he'll lose a little bit of credibility. Yep. Because it, it's not about him. He's just a vessel. So, yeah, yeah. No, you know, I, 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 I definitely talking about. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Uh, that's why a lot of people. Thanks a lot for the call, man. That's why a lot of people are very clear on um, the limitations to their support for even Bernie Sanders, uh, because it's not it's not about Bernie Sanders. It's about the fact that he. You said it best, John. He is the uh, a vessel of the progressive movement. And if he if Bernie Sanders turned on his policies, then the people who formerly supported him would turn on him. Uh, and this is this is really you can see this in the new polling that is coming out. Um, thank you, Dr. Q, for this, uh, uh, that the share of Bernie Sanders supporters who say they would vote for Hillary Clinton rather than Donald Trump in the general election is decreasing. According to the ABC Washington Post poll uh, in March or April, 77 percent said that they would support Hillary Clinton rather than Donald Trump. Uh, in May, it's gone down to 71 percent. Uh, CBS New York Times poll in May, March slash April, it was 82 percent. In May, it's gone down to 72 percent, lost 10 points in one month. Now, I'm not clear, clear if this poll says that means they're going to go out and vote for Donald Trump or are they just going to stay home? I don't know. But if you want me, and so there's a lot of vying, right? There's a lot of vying for voices and the expectation that those voices are going to just uh, be so afraid of Donald Trump that we're going to, but I'm, that's the problem, folks. I'm not afraid of Donald Trump. And maybe that's my fault. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just an arrogant bastard and I'm just not afraid of too much of anything. The only thing I'm afraid of is not being able to raise my kids. That's the only thing that keeps me up at night is not being able to raise my kids, Right. But other than that, Donald Trump doesn't scare me. Racism doesn't scare me. He, pe these people aren't going to disappear if Hillary Clinton wins. Hillary Clinton is not going to make a magic fix to white supremacy and racism, right? So, so this, this boogeyman of Donald Trump does not motivate me to try to convince you, the listener, to say, oh, my God, 
set your hair on fire, and above all else, vote for Hillary Clinton because we're afraid of Donald Trump. I'm just, I don't have that motivation. It's not in me to do for you because, one, I'm not afraid of Donald Trump. Two, I, I can't support Hillary Clinton on things that I disagree with her on. So so what am I going to do? What I'm going to do in the, if, if it is Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump, I'm just going to tell you who's lying when they're lying, and I don't care if it's Donald Trump or if it's Hillary Clinton. I think that's going to be a very and, – and this is the thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't cover for Bernie Sanders lying. So I can't tell you if these numbers – the point I was making before I went off on my tangent. I can't tell you if this, these numbers represent people who are going to now vote for Bernie uh, – for Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton or will they just stay home – all I can tell you is that the closer we get to the general election, the less likely Bernie Sanders supporters are going to support Hillary Clinton. 